Hello, welcome to runmyroot.com. This presentation is a quick start overview to creating your first running course. Okay, first we need to zoom into the location of where we're going to create our run. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to locate where that starting point needs to be. On the left hand side, I'm going to click the start running button. The activity indicator lights up to show we're now in running mode. We can pan and zoom on the map using the left button on our mouse. If we want to create points for a running course, we then double click with the mouse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click in the location where I want to start my run. Also, you can see on the left in the toolbox menu here, we've selected automatically for runners. So what that means is it's going to follow the roads or any running paths that are available. So if I click over here on the road, you can see that it actually creates a line down the road, turns the corner and navigates over to where I've double clicked with the mouse. And I can continue to do that along my course to, to find my running route. It will automatically again turn the corners and map the course out for me. Now at this point I'm going to switch it over to satellite view because I want to go off the roads and do a bit of a cross-country course. So what I can do now is over on the left hand side I'm going to choose manually or straight lines because there are no roads or running paths on the map that are available to create my course here. Also I'll go into hybrid mode just to indicate where it shows where the, the roads and uh, footpaths are available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click over here on the map and I can double click along and create my course. And I'm going to follow the path that I can see here in the satellite view and I can get all the way back to the road here. Now, now that I'm back on the road, I can toggle it back to automatically for runners to follow that road course again here. And here you can see I'm double clicking and I'm moving the map around and now I'm going to double click over here at the end where my finish point is and double click there and again you can see it's turned the corner automatically and found the best path for me to get there. So now you can see over on the left hand side we've done a total distance of 1.9 miles. Thank you for joining the quick start overview.